This is Moody Malavi. You're listening to Casio's Cut. Check out episode 16. It's where Casio and I talk about everything, like comedy and whatnots. We'll keep you laughing, keep your mind distracted from your long commute behind that left lane hero that won't get out of the way. He thinks he owns the road. Doesn't matter how many cars are not in front of him. He won't budge. We'll keep you from doing something stupid, like using a bumper to give him a nudge. Hopefully, you'll get to the parking lot at work unscathed. And maybe you'll still be listening to us. And if you are, you're still going to be laughing. And people from all around the world are going to hear about it. And they're going to come see you. They're going to wonder what's going on inside that car. And if they knock on the window, turn to them and say, whoosh. I'm listening to episode 16. And so should you. What's up, Candy Lickers? Pleased to meet you. Nice to know me. What you doing? You're listening to another edition of Casio's Cut. Yeah. Welcome back. It is another unboxing episode. What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? A lot of boxes today. Facts. Here we go. This is our unboxing episode. Just want to thank everybody in advance for sending something uh, literally without... You candy lickers mailing something to the P.O. Box. These episodes would not happen, and they have always been an absolute ton of fun. So I want to thank you in advance, and thank everyone who has sent one in the past episodes. If you would like to be involved in our next unboxing P.O. Box episode, all you got to do is mail anything you want. Casio's Cut, P.O. Box 19065, Huntsville, Alabama. 35806. We are going to be rocking and rolling once we get your packages for the next unboxing episodes. In the past, spoiler alert if you haven't caught up and you don't want to get spoiled, go ahead and fast forward just a few seconds. But in the past episodes, tons of wrestling gear. We've got wrestling tapes, we've got uh, vinyl. Uh, you guys and gals have picked up on my love of. Vinyl Records, uh, so you've hooked me up, you've hooked my friends up, my wife's up, uh, you have sent alcohol, I'm trying to look at the shelf, VHS tapes, we've got uh, pop figures, we've got a little Debbie Barbie, we've got Mjolnir, that's Thor's hammer, we've got books, uh, we've got stickers to have fun with, we've got all kind of, there's a poop slime thing over there. We've got clothes, as you can see. We got the Hulk outfit. If you're watching on the YouTube, boo! Over the shoulder. If you're watching in YouTube, you can see my cat Moose. He is laying on top of my record player back there. So he's going to join us. Hopefully, he will just do what he's been doing for 14 hours straight and sitting back there and going to sleep. He's really not mad. I mean, he is mad right now that I'm talking. Look, we even got this. Uh, Easter picture we've got in the past. We've got comic books over the ropes. You can check that out. Absolutely cool comic uh, from Mr. Sandlin. So check that out in the past. So just want to thank you guys again. Thank you guys have been hanging out. I hope you and your family have been safe here during the quarantine. These Hulk Hogan glasses that I'm wearing, um, I'm not sure that's my look, but... We're going with it for right now. I don't think I look good in them, but I don't know what else I look good in. So we're going to get our packages together. looks like we've got six. We try to keep these at five or six. That's when I go ahead and knock one out. Uh, and I've been holding this one, of course, because uh, I know a lot of you, uh, and still uh, some of you, uh, uncomfortable about mailing packages, heading out to the post office. Um, I, I can tell a couple of these are from Amazon, so we appreciate you just online clicking and uh, sending that and making me risk getting coronavirus by going to the P.O. box. I'm just kidding. We've had a blast. It looks like we've got two big boxes, um, medium size, and a small box as well. And then it looks like we've got these two white ones that look like they are some kind of bookish uh, type deal. So... I believe, let's start with these uh, white packages. 
so we can uh, get these out of the way. And so we'll open up our first one. First package just says Amazon, so uh, not sure. Be sure, by the way, um, if you send an Amazon, I think there's a uh, place where you can mark a ticket and like add a little message when you send it. If that's the case, uh, please click that and do that. Uh, and I'm going to kill time while I struggle to get into this. Hoping not to cut anything. Be sure you follow us on social media at Casio's Cut. Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Casio's Cut. And of course, merchandise where we just got brand new hats. We've got golf shirts out just in time for golfing season as well. Uh, go So go check out Casio'sCuts.com. We do have a book. <laughs> this book is awesome. There is no note on it. Um, so whoever sent it, unless it's in the uh, book, which I don't think it is, but. Uh, all right. So the, the book, as you can see, if you're watching on our YouTube, type in Casio's Cut, go to YouTube. Is draw a dick on it. The naughty drawing game. What is happening? Uh, it's got pictures of a robot, a banana, a, bu a snowman, milkshake, a hat. It says, play with yourself or play with others. Draw a dick on it. These 10 objects are sorely missing something. Can you guess what? That's right. They all needed dicks drawn on them. So gather around your body as friends and get to doodling. Um, and I'm going to flip through this. You guys tell me when to stop. Oh, stop. Okay. Um, I'll hold that up to the camera. It is a amateur sketch. <laughs> it's an amateur sketch of Bigfoot. Uh, and apparently I'm supposed to draw a dick on him. Uh, boom. Sharpie. It's silver. Well, he's going to have a silver penis. Uh, the question is on Bigfoot, if you're drawing him, do you draw the peen coming out the front over here? Uh, by the way, perfect timing over my shoulder. My cat is licking its peen. Um, so this, <laughs> this is turning into chaos. Moose. Moose, quit licking your butt. You're on camera. Oh, he's getting after it, y'all. He is getting after it. Now he's going up the thigh. He's having a good time. Uh, <laughs> this is amazing. What is happening? I'm going to draw it sticking out. Actually, I'm going to draw. Okay. It's silver. Didn't it, I, didn't ne I never imagined Bigfoot with a silver penis. But if you could see the uh, Sasquatch uh, penis is sticking up from the front, but then on the on the back, I went ahead and drew the dangle. It's hanging down. I, I imagine, look, Bigfoot, big balls. Let's just call it. So I got that going for me. It's a book. Thank you, Anonymous. Draw a dick on it. There's a milkshake, a chicken, a robot, a fork, a sandwich. Oh, we got... Oh, we got, we got, we got stickers in the front of it. I just saw that you can, you can rate your own drawing. And as you can see on the video, the stickers say, you're a cock star. And that's going to be your star. Then it's got a doorknob and it says a knob well done. Uh, then at the bottom, it's got a sagging hot dog and it says a limp. And then in the middle, it says, honorable mention, drawn with distinction. Drawn with distinction. Distinction. Hard word for me to say. So, draw a dick on it. Hours of fun. Who doesn't like putting dicks on things? Okay, moving on. Oh, we got another, but we're going to, we're going to open up our next bookish. 
Uh, so like I said, follow us. If you're if you're listening to this, thank you for uh, downloading and listening to it. Of course, the beauty of the PO Boxing episodes is that you go to our YouTube, just type in Casio's Cut. Be sure you click subscribe. The faster, just to be honest, how YouTube works, we need subscribers, and then we can start doing a lot more things and open that thing up for you. So make sure you go to YouTube and click subscribe, like, rate, comment, let me know where you come from. Here's another... Uh, This is from George, Utah, but it doesn't have a book. Uh, it doesn't have a uh, a name on it. St. George, Utah. And uh, we got a letter. Nope. It's a packing slip. <laughs> we got no note again, uh, but our book is Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber. Uh, it looks like a kid's book. It says, I think I've met Brenda. Oh, God, right now I am Brenda. Um, oh, it's talking about the... Uh, it's talking about the author on the back. Let me open this up. Brenda's Beaver Needs a Barber is the latest book. I'm just going to read a page or two here. This is clearly going to have to be a separate YouTube video. Uh, the first page, it's uh, a lady. And she's walking her beaver. She's got her beaver on a leash, walking through the park. And it says... Brenda has a beaver. She's ready to confess. As soft and sweet as it may be, her beaver is a mess. <laughs> Why are y'all doing this? I can't. Brenda's big... Brenda's beaver's big. Brenda's beaver's hairy. Every guy who's seen it says that Brenda's beaver's scary. Okay. We're pausing, we're pumping the brakes. This is going to be an extra YouTube video. Brenda's Beaver needs a barber. Uh, again, packing slip, no name. Just says thank you. So thank you. Thank you uh, for sending that. Next. I can't wait to read that, that book. Just so y'all know. I'm going to be drawing dicks on everything. I'm going to be reading about Brenda's Beaver is uh hairy excuse me needs a barber doesn't necessarily is a beaver technically hairy this is um mike booble in the house his streak continues of making every one of the unboxing episodes thank you mike springfield oregon in the house as always I was a little worried the streak might be broken by mr booble with coronavirus going on. Uh, but he did not disappoint. Sins again. Very well packed. Oh gosh. Uh, well, I can see the box. It's hard to get out right now. It could be a metaphor of my podcast it's a trash bag it's it's literally trash bags was there what's my chances there's something in the trash bag hefty strong uh let me make sure there's no no note in there there's tape on the box. Now, did that come from the store, or do we want to open this up more and see if there's something in there? It doesn't shake. It doesn't smell. By the way, if this is a glitter bomb like we've had in the past, Booble, you did the best packing job ever because I am going into this way innocent. I'm opening the box. I'm opening the box. 
It's not trash bags. Okay. So, I made the right choice in opening that up. There's something in that. We got a lot of tissue paper. A lot of tissue paper. There's some notes from Mike. I like Mike's note. Dear Casio, no meaning at all to this package. Let's get weird. Okay. I like where this is going, Mike. All right. We got tissue paper, tissue paper. Let me get Mike Booble's tissue paper out. Uh, so we've got the note. Let's get weird. Um, he's got a, uh, well, Finding Dory tattoos. Prism foil tattoos that are 25 of them that are all Finding Dory. So let's see. I don't have any water in here. I would put one on. I mean, it's straight up kids tattoos, which clearly... Clearly what I need to do is just throw the tattoos on and not say anything. And then like somebody walks up and is like, do you have Dory on your wrist? What's happening here? All right. He's got two more little things with it though. A lot of, we got tissue paper, bubble wrap, rubber band. This is looking weird. <laughs> A ceramic eggplant <laughs> uh-huh no meaning to this huh a ceramic eggplant listen to that that's hard well i'm gonna put this back here eggplant ceramic eggplant is now in the building buddy Mike, you nailed it. You got straight weird there. We got another something wrapped up here in tissue paper. Bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Shot glass. University of Oregon. Booble coming through representing his university, the Oregon Ducks. Mr. Uh, Mr. Corso picks them all the time. He loves the duck head. Well, thank you, Booble. We appreciate you getting in, man. I really was worried your streak would be broken by uh, coronavirus, but you powered through. Boom. No meaning at all. It got weird, Mike Booble. We got a ceramic eggplant, Dory stickers, and a Oregon Ducks shot glass, which will be used, my friend. Will be used. Maybe I'll do that video for you. We got two big ones left and a little one. Which one should we open? Big ones or little ones? What say you? Two big ones left. 19065. Let's go little, get it out of the way. We always like to go a little, work our way up. This just says from a monthly boxer, and I have not signed up for a monthly boxer. Which is great. It's one of y'all has signed me up for a monthly boxer. This package is about the size of your hand, in length and width. No note. There is one sign that says eat a bag of dicks. So we've got that going on. And there is literally dick shaped gummy bears. Dick shaped gummy bears in the package. Eat a bag of dicks. I don't, I, that might have hit a little too close to home. I, I think that one was rude. Gummy Candies Bag of Dicks. Dicksbymail.com if anybody wants to mail dicks. So I've got... I got a theme going is what I've got. I've got ceramic eggplant. 
eat a bag of dicks and draw a dick on it book and to round it all out Brenda's beaver needs a barber so quarantine you guys clearly got a lot of sexual pent up energy that you needed to take out on me which box are we going with we got another box another big box uh, thank you to whoever told me to eat a bag of dicks Next one, Casio's Cut, P.O. Box 19065. Just says Huntsville uh, Burbank Shipping Center. So here we go. We want to do this box. Again, thank you guys. These have absolutely been well, boxes of fun, for lack of a better word. It's been tons of fun opening these for you guys and uh candy liquors okay we got a lot of coupons somebody got rid of their coupon section i know what you mean it comes all the time it is those coupons you get in the mail and i don't know what to do with them now i do box stuff oh here we go big looks like a book it's shaking so I don't think it's a book. It says indulgence. Oh, wait. I don't see a um I don't see a name in there. Let's see if there was a uh, note. Indulgence it says on the front. By novel erotics. Oh, here we go. Here's the note. Hey, Matt, here's a little something to keep you and the missus happy. Please plug Novel Erotics for making my big booty Judy happy. Roll Tide, Alfred Hopton III, P.S. Maynard sucks. Buddy, Alfred, first of all, my former roommate when I lived in Los Angeles. Thank you, my man. Um, whoa. It says a graze on my lips. And if those hills be dry, stray lower where the pleasant fountains lie, William Shakespeare. In this erotic bag, uh, we have a cheetah print, leopard print, uh, sleeping mask that we will try on. Oh, it's comfy. Comfy AF. It smells like a stripper. Yeah, smells like a stripper. Uh, sorry, guys. Strip clothes been closed for a while. That took me back for a second. Uh, we've also got sandalwood bubble bath. Hmm. Big booty Judy's going to like that. We, <laughs> I don't even know. We've got uh, a sphere. I'm going to hope. I'm going to hope that's a uh, bath bomb. Oh, look, my cat Moose got excited about that. He's in the background if you're watching the YouTube video. <laughs> he woke up. He smells strippers like I do. Uh, we've got three-in-one massage candle. Skinny dip. I'll take the top off of it. Ooh. What a pleasant aroma. Mmm. Hemp seed. Three-in-one massage candle. Um, well, there you go. Yep. In that package is a pink vibrator. See, here's the deal. I got to keep this closed until my wife gets home or she'll think I've, I'm playing some joke. She's, of all things, she's out uh, working out. And I'm in here opening dick books, ceramic dicks. Now, vibrating imitation dicks. Eating dicks. And hairy beavers. My life's going great, guys. My life's going great. You made me feel sad. 
Indulgence. Novel erotics. Well, this is the jam, by the way. If you ordered this, this is the jam. Bubble bath, massage candle, bath beads, and vibrator. There it was. Should have looked at the old table of contents or the glossary in the back. Would have told me that right out of the gate. So, uh, what's happening? Novel erotics, hashtag novel erotics on Twitter. Well, I mean, it took us, I don't know if this is the sixth or the seventh unboxing episode, but, uh, took us seven of them to get to where we are. Y'all just went completely, completely dirty this time. Dicks and beavers. That's what I got going for me in Corona time. Nobody sent me a, I did ask for mask and now I got, thanks Alfred. A hop sent me a, uh. A cheetah sleeping mask. By the way, uh, he said Maynard sucks on his post. Um, and uh, that is what he lovingly refers to my buddy David Lynham. He couldn't say his name, so he kept calling him Maynard. And uh, so it stuck. And they have a they have a feud. So he got in his Maynard sucks. So David Lynham, when you're listening to this, which I know you are, Alfred got you again. With the Maynard sucks. All right, we're down to our last box. This thing is, whoo, jammed up and jelly tight, son. This one's from Bad Money Slim in Pennsylvania. Slim, what's up, dog? All right, my man, Bad Money Slim. Always, always up for a good time with Bad Money Slim. Buddy, Slim, did you send this one? I mean, did you think it was going overseas in a cargo crate? I mean, I just got a ceramic dick that didn't break in the mail with less packing than this. So, I mean, layers upon layers of tape. All right, we got some uh, plastic inside. Oh. <laughs> I hope the smell that I just got is not can do uh, is not what's in this box. I don't know how to say that. But there's a smell. A lot of bubble wrap. Oh no, Slim. I can't, I don't know if I can put it on camera. It's a uh, baggie. I'm barely holding it up with a uh, mason jar. I mean, <laughs> it's, a sa it's a sandwich baggie inside bubble wrap. And inside that sandwich baggie is a sandwich baggie. Is a sandwich baggie. Is a mason jar. Oh. Bad money slam. You're a bad boy. Well, uh, candy liquors, I don't, it's a, uh, it's a mason jar. There's a note in this. I don't know if I can show this on camera. So that's why I'm kind of holding it down off screen. Good Lord at the smell. Oh, we got cut different baggies. <laughs> Good Lord at the smell. 
Uh, we got Northern Lights. OG Kush. Banana Kush. And Nine Pound Hammer. And I can't show that on the video, but... I, uh... You know, me and my me and my loving wife just started a uh, what she calls a freedom garden, like they did back in World War II, and it's just where you plant things, be a little bit more free. Since we we got stuck in the coronavirus quarantine, lockdown, we wanted to be a little bit more independent. So we uh, we we're starting a chicken coop right now, and we've also planted a garden. And you know, we've got some sprouts, and there's some little buds coming up. Not these kind. This is already picked from somebody's garden or basement or wherever. My man, Slim, got it. Uh, now I know why it was wrapped the way it was wrapped. Make sure there's no more felonies in here. Um, Slim didn't describe his actions. He just decided... But that's what should be sent. So, now I've got a lot of explaining to do when my wife gets home. I've got vibrators, dicks, edible dicks, bubble bath, beaver books, and misdemeanors at, at the latest. A mason jar full of misdemeanors. Thanks to Bad Money Slam. And uh, I feel like there's SWAT helicopters over my house and at any point the cops are going to bust in the window. So I better wrap this up. <laughs> thank you. To, to, good Lord, the smell. Uh, thank you to everybody who said anything. Mike Booble, always coming through. Um, this eggplant, you'll see it in every video, hopefully, from now on. Um, tattoos, we got the, bo the beaver book. Uh, we've also got Eat a Bag of Dicks. Uh, thank you, I guess, to whoever sent that. And uh, we've got uh, A-Hop, Alfred Hopton. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that, man. He sent me the novel Erotics gift set. Um, maybe I might, might try to hide that one. i got the old anniversary coming up. I, I think I could re-gift this to my wife. She don't listen to my podcast, so... I think I'm going to re-gift this. So thank you, Alfred. You've just helped us out for our anniversary coming up here in a few more weeks. So thanks, everybody. Candy Liquors, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sending stuff. Uh, we might get shut down after this one. I don't know where it can go from this with all the genitalia, phallic symbols, and that good, good Kush misdemeanor. Felony. Minimal. Minimal probation. It's just a package. You've sent probation to my P.O. box is what you've done. But I would say let's get out of here before we get embarrassed. But I think it's too late for that. So as we end them all now, we got to give you the shout out. Adios, bichachos. <laughs> oh. Cassio's Cut, then you'll love Saved by the Pod. This week we travel back to November 2002 for WWE Survivor Series and the first ever Elimination Chamber match, along with our favorite pop culture news. Check us out at SavedByThePod.com and make both Cassio's Cut and Saved by the Pod a part of your weekly Tuesday listening lineup. Hello? Good afternoon. Uh, is this Mr. Richmond? I've been telling you for a long time that SaveWithConrad.com can save you money, but don't take my word for it. Yes, it is. Hi, this is Dave Silva. I'm calling from Save With Conrad. 
Hey, how are you? Doing good, my friend, doing good. What made you go to see with Conrad in the first place? Just doing the, the ads on the podcast. My wife and I were in a place where we thought, you know, let's see what we can do and, and check out different companies. And I said, oh, I've got this one. So I went on and, and the rest of the sisters, we, we loved it and we stuck with it. And thankfully they stuck with us and, and it worked. That's wonderful. Was there something specific that Conrad said on the podcast that kind of helped you make that decision to give us a call or email us? Skip two payments and, and you know, he'll, he'll find you the lowest rates and... Um, and it came at a great time. We actually did it a couple months before Christmas, so we got to have no payments for December, January. So that helped out a lot with Christmas shopping. We've got a two-year-old daughter, so any money that we could have put towards her that we didn't have to put towards the house was a good thing. How was it working with Derek? Oh, he was great. I uh, sent him an email at like 6 o'clock at night, and he almost immediately called us. And we put him on speaker, and we, we hashed out what we needed to hash out. It was just the constant availability was, was great. Do you have any suggestions on how we can improve as a team for any future people we were able to help out? Keep going how it's going. I, everything is going so well. And I mean, you guys helped us out so much and, and saved us money. And, and it just, it couldn't have come at a better time. So just keep up what you're doing and, and thank everybody for all their, their efforts in it. Do you remember how much money we were able to save you? Um, I think overall it ended up being about four or five grand just off the top. I mean, we we had a credit card that we had run up and we should not have got it to the point that it was at. And we were able to roll that right in with the house payment. So our credit card right now is at zero, which is wonderful. Plus, then we got the two house payments. Plus, um, I think they ended up saving us like $2,500 extra on top of it. So it ended up being a, a significant hit of money to us so it was it was definitely what we needed at the time now would you recommend us to a friend or a co-worker oh yeah oh great that's wonderful to hear so what are you waiting for find out how much money you can save right now for free you don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket even credit scores in the 500s can be approved and if we can't save you money we won't waste your time but because we're licensed in more than 40 states we can help more families than ever before Find out how much money you can save right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com. Oh, and did I mention you could skip your next two house payments? Hurry to SaveWithConrad.com. NMLS number 65084 Equal Housing Lenders. Woo!